Hello there, my name is Richard. The first time you see my channel, I review cartoon series, anime series, also big comedy random. And today the uh, Steven Universe the movie review from Cartoon Network. And oh my god, I loved it. I mean, the first time I heard of it and seeing what's going on with the Steven C series, I was kind of hinted it because I feel Director Sugar herself and her team didn't get the grasp of the final season. You feel all the flaws and that's the thing I'm kind of afraid of watching this movie. But oh my, no, no, no. I was completely wrong. This movie was good. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but I see I could compare this other TV movies done way better than this one, and one of the great example is Batman, the Phantasm. You see that movie, watch it today, your mouth still drops how good it is. And that meant to be a TV movie. You have another one that even equally as great is the Story Story 2. Yeah, that one supposed to be a TV movie, instead they decided to make it a film release of all theaters because it was that good. Now, Stevie can never get that high level because of one separate reason, this was actually a rush job. So yeah, it was a good rush job, it wasn't that bad, but because I'm a critic, I see a lot of flaws. One of the major flaws is that Steven couldn't easily call the diamonds. I mean, that's all he needed to do, just call the diamonds. He never did. And that is something that uh, kind of bugs me, but I forget because how was executed of the whole movie, especially for now. I mean, this character, this simple, rubbery, stretchy, adorable, awesome character. She was my life. She is the light that shines the film to watch this film just because of her. The only problem is her issue got resolved at the end of the movie and you realize you could do so much with her. You could do so much in season 6. She bring her and kept her as the main villain. And oh my god, I was sort of disappointed and glad she had her happy ending. But I wanted her more, her movement, her shape, her backstory. You just adore this character because she's just so 1920s animation, that rubbery kind of Popeye bouncy charm to sing along. Like, oh my god, I drool over, over this character. I love her that much. Of course, the story of Reza was okay because it's sort of a callback to everything they did, trying to cover all that up with the time bomb, kind of destroy the world kind of deal. But that's okay if they added a kind of like a watch. When you watch this kind of type of movie, you need a sort of a clock bomb kind of deal. You need to remind yourself. There's a time limit right now. Something just to have a little bell and a watch showing every couple of seconds. Every couple of seconds, just do it about me three to four times, reappearing and making a sound to assure the audience and Steven you have a time limit. That in itself can make this movie work so well. Well, that time limit, well, that bell and that clock, you don't feel as urge him to watch this movie. You don't feel the urge He feels kind of like not big a uh, deal with the situation because they have a lot of time, but they don't. And that's one of the biggest issues of this movie, that urgency. You need that kind of feeling to feel nervous. You feel panicky. Stevens will not make it, but you don't. You don't have that. But luckily, you do have something else that actually is kind of interesting, that Steven is kind of tired of this, that kind of sickling feeling like why my life is sort of crappy because I didn't do anything. Everything this happened in my life is because it's his own mom. And that, like, it's like a simple line, but it means so much to the character because you kind of agree with him. I mean, everything that happened is not his fault. Even the main villain, Jenny, I mean, that Jenny Sabanelli or whatever, the main villain, that adorable sweet brother character. I'm being said, I'm not even angry with you, I'm just angry with your mom, but you're she's dead, you're the only one that left, so I'm going to frustrate all my anger up to you because it's the only way I know how to, and that is actually acceptable. I mean, acceptable as more like real life will actually happen. That, I feel that's one of the best things about this character. This is the reason watch the one just for her. She is the reason. And yeah, I love how it sort of ended in a way that they sort of 
stop fighting and they're trying to be peaceful and friendship and you see Stevie hold this sort of weapon that kind of reset everybody and she's looking at him like why you have that tool I mean I use this tool but why you have this tool you could have betrayed me and that's that simple line that little panic that little frustration she's like giving the kind of like flashback what happened to pink diamond to her she got her son gonna do the same thing that i endure so much you can see sometimes there is a misunderstanding and it goes way beyond what you need to become i mean it was basically messed up that kind of scene you know steven doesn't do that but you can see uh spinel i'm sorry i keep saying her name wrong she has very good reason acting this way and I love that she kind of go a setback for a few seconds and decides to stop doing it again but I love that kind of fight scene that I love it that she admits I don't care I'm gonna kill you you got nothing else to do but of course this series was fun enjoyable I can't say much about this really likable show of course it's the songs that kind of annoys me. That's the thing I don't want to bring up because they were good songs. I'm not gonna lie, they were enjoyable. But there never was a level of Disney songs that you have a great villain, but she need that great villain song to connect to, make a statement to get the answer, the soul of the whole movie. If you watch this movie, you really don't really remember the songs, or you can't really sing them. Not because they're bad. It's just they're not impactful enough, and that's the main problem. But be, be fair. This was a rush movie. This was sort of like nine months into production and done. Let's go next next thing, the next thing to do. And that is sort of understandable because in Disney movies, they took about maybe three to four years to perfect the songs, to make that perfect song to remember you. Every time you see the movie, you know what song you're expecting. That one song, and just you want to sing with it. That's the thing you need about this movie. But what's more, it's, it's not a necessity. This is supposed to be a straight to TV movie and again I understand but I'm a critic I always want more yeah that's something it's sad to be becoming a critic and in any way and all of that everything else was enjoyable just the the action the acting the animation the favorite fan new character yeah, I want her being a fucking flushy give me some Benelli, a flushy character give me our toy give me a poster just her Give her her own spin-off series, really. I can I can draw about this character anymore. Uh, anyway, I got really nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a wonderful day. Bye.